So let's get into the guitar uh, signal paths and uh, the setup here. The whole thing about this is these guys are such incredible performers and musicians that I, I wanted to just keep it very s simple. It really is about their performance, and I didn't really want to get into a situation where I was asking Will to double his parts to have a stereo image, which is very common in rock music, to, you know, to double a guitar part to give it um, more weight and, and dimension. Um, so I'm just doing it as we go. So what happens is from the guitar, the guitar goes to a whammy pedal first. Now, and the whammy pedal is not used on every song, but instead of changing the tuning of the guitar, and also to sort of give us the heavier sound, the guitar is oftentimes detuned, not all the time, with the whammy pedal. And then from the whammy pedal, we go into the helix, which on the stage right side, we kind of have a, a, a setting that is a little bit of overdrive, basically, uh, that then feeds the amplifier. The other side of the helix uh, goes to the stage left setup, which are these pedals, which I'll get to in just a moment. And then we have a direct clean signal, and it goes through a bass nine pedal. And so that creates a, a bass sound for us. While we're talking about that, I'll just, we'll just quickly go through that signal chain. API pre, API EQ, and then the 160 for some control. The 160 is what I almost always use on a recorded bass signal path. Back to the, gu the guitar signal path. The stage right side is going into the California Tweed, and then we are using the aux box for the miking and you know, room tone and capture. Made a cabinet selection, it's like a 412 cabinet. Uh, I'm using a 57 and a 67 to mic the cabinet. I pan the microphones together on the left side, and uh, I use the room tone of the 610 Studio, but I pan it all the way to the right side. So when I'm recording it, I have a close mic sound and I have a room sound, and then I can, I can blend them and, and, and place them how I want later as opposed to doing it and creating a stereo image. Um, so then the stage left side the signal comes over to this setup, and the, the signal path here first goes into a starlight, which I'm using just for a little bit of subtle delay so that the two signals feel, uh, you know, because when you double a performance, it's not going to be uh, like, you know, of course, you want it tight, uh, but, you know, you kind of want it to be interesting, too. The delay kind of helps differentiate um, them just a little bit, so it, so it kind of gives it a little bit of a human feel like uh, just replicating a, a, a stereo a double track performance. I didn't use the Astra on this one. I used it a lot on some of the other songs. Honestly, it's one of my favorite sounding modulation pedals ever. It has some very unique uh, tones to it. Just wasn't really the right thing, what right flavor for this song. And then the Golden. I used just a little bit of Spring Reverb just to, there again because this, this side, the stage right side's dry. And you know, just another way to kind of give a little bit of a different texture and a little bit of separation. Um, the amp sim pedal that I used is the Woodrow, and it's um, it's selected to the blue speaker setting. A little bit of drive, a little bit of gain, add some color uh, to that. You know, because I couldn't separate uh, in the way that I used the aux, where I put the microphones on one side and the room tone on the other. It doesn't have that control in this. So what we did is we took the left and right signal out of the Woodrow. We used one side of it um, as the close mics, and then we added an Oceanway room to the other side to recreate the room tone. So API EQs on all this stuff, you wonder why, like, why do you have an EQ in there? It's engaged, but you're not doing any EQ. Well, I didn't feel like I needed it. It's nice if it's there. Sometimes, depending on a, um, you know, what's going on with a composition or a song, it's, it's nice to you know, have it in place so that I can EQ if, if I feel inspired to do it. But I oftentimes, almost always, love to have an EQ circuit in the signal path, even if I'm not using it, because um, running it through those electronics, you accumulate tone. 
you know, and it, it kind of controls the signal and kind of brings some character and, 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 uh, and warmth to it. That's how we're bringing the sound together to uh, present a, a very stereo, double-tracked feeling uh, guitar presentation uh, with it just being a single performance.